on January 22nd, 1963, at the Ulysses Palace in Paris, the Ulysses Treaty was signed, a treaty of friendship between France and West Germany. This year, in observance of the sixth anniversary of the 61st rather anniversary of the signing, the German ambassador, His Excellency Dr. Christoph Eck, and French Ambassador His Excellency Mr. Didier Chambert are hosting a free classical concert at Napa. So save the date! Excellencies, good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show. Good morning. Good morning. An honor and a pleasure to have you, but a lot of curiosity because this was well before my time, understandably. <laughs> so if you would, His Excellency, uh, Excellency, could you tell me what was the significance or why altogether this treaty was signed? It's uh, something very important for, the, for both countries because we had to suffer together two world war and we had a very long history together. At, at one moment, two very important uh, politicians in both countries, Konrad Adenauer on the German side and General de Gaulle on the French side, decided that it was time to move to friendship between not only the countries but also the people of the country. You can imagine that after the signing of the Elysee Treaty, more than six millions of the pupils and students of both countries went in the went in school exchanges. So it's something very important, and we have built on this uh, friendship treaty also to create and reinforce European Union. So it was so something completely new. For it's also a signal that two countries can create a real friendship and change the world, building on this friendship. We definitely need change. So the decision to do this is not a first of its kind. This is the second concert that we're seeing, yes? Yes, this is the, the second concert. I think there was a concert last year at the same time. Um, and it's a classical concert at, um, at Napa. Um, um, and with the National Philharmonic Orchestra of Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, you have a wonderful orchestra here in, in Trinidad and Tobago, um, and uh, we are working with them um, and to put up this concert. Um, there will be some German composers, some French composers, um, and a little bit of Trinidad and Tobago of course. Uh, also in, in the program. Um, and uh, it's a wonderful opportunity um, I know that everybody is uh, in carnival mood, but uh, to step back perhaps for you know, one or two hours and, um, and listen to some classical music and to see, to witness the richness uh, of music that you can have here in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm glad that you describe it as the richness of music because classical, as you rightfully said, outside of the carnival season is a little bit different. But is it that the themes of the composed music will continue the theme of friendship and camaraderie? Do we have a unifying uh, song or piece perhaps? His Excellency? We have, uh, we will start with uh, the concert with uh, some piece of Beethoven and I mm. think that's uh, the best way to uh, to pass through music, friendship and love is to start with Beethoven. So we, we will have, as uh, Christophe said, some uh, French, German composer, but also it's a possibility to prove that classic mu music is also deeply rooted in the Caribbean islands. We have we have composers from French Antilles. We have also a symphony of Dr. Henry, uh, which is one of the most prominent uh, musicians here in, uh, in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. So it will be not only uh, a French-German uh, classic music concert, but also a Caribbean concert, because classical music is worldwide. Uh, and uh, it's a possibility to have a constant flow of music during two hours and I hope that the population of uh, Trinidad and Tobago could enjoy. It will be a free concert. Uh, everyone who likes music can come and enjoy the concert just uh, because of security issue. People ha who are interested to come to bring friends or bring family to the concert have to pick up the tickets in Napa right. uh, and uh, it will start upon tomorrow. The availability of the the tickets in uh, Napa ticket booths. 
Okay, excellent, Didier. In terms of one of the other features that the contras will have is, uh, just, well, actually, the Franco-German prize being given. Tell me a little bit as to what that is about. Well, this is uh, recognition in recognition uh, for services to um, uh, to German French culture and cultural activities, mm. and um, so we, we have some prizes that we'll be uh, giving out at the beginning of the uh, of, of the concert to recognize uh, recognize those that have contributed um, to uh, to this uh, cooperation that we that we have that with a cooperation which is very important and which touches really all fields um, uh, of cooperation between our two, two countries that have. You know, we have suffered so much, as, as Didier Chabert has, has said at the beginning, uh, from, uh, from the world wars and the effects of the world wars. Mm -hmm. And it was really um, a, a, great, uh, a great moment in our history, uh, more than 60 years ago, uh, that, uh, that started with the Elysee Treaty, really. Right. I'm glad that you're commemorating mm -hmm. such a dark time with such a beautiful moment. Music, as you rightfully say, transcends time and space and unifies persons. So I will ask, are there particular pieces or performances that either of you are looking forward to more than others? I know Beethoven has a strong place in your heart, His Excellency, but any others? Yes, Chevalier Saint-Georges, for example. Chevalier Saint-Georges is a French composer who was born in uh, Guadeloupe. He was born slave and he came to Paris and he became the most famous composer of his time in, mm. in France. He became also the director of the French opera. And after he also had, uh, he was the most famous sportsman of his time in fencing because fencing in the 18th century was the most popular sport. And he was very famous. He was invited in all Europe, not only as a composer, but also as the most famous sportsman of, of his time. He was from the uh, West Indies. He was born in Guadeloupe, and yeah. he was born slave. So it's also a signal that uh, once uh, a French composer was uh, able to uh, overcome come all the discriminations he faced during his life and become one of the most famous people of his time. Mm -hmm. mm, definitely inspiring, to say the least. Yes, yes. yes. and for, for, for me, um, it's actually a, a small piece um, by, by Lionel Belasco, mm. uh, who, who is, I mean, he was born in Venezuela, but he's really a Trini, born end of the 19th century, and who also trans transcends classical music, Calypso. I mean, he was one of the first Calypsonians. Um, there's some jazz elements that, that he composed, um, and, and uh, he was really uh, somebody that... Um, uh, that should be, you know, should be recognized and rediscovered also. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm looking forward to um, the National Philharmonic Orchestra um, and playing one of his uh, one of his pieces in the concert. That we all are. Now, if someone is not able to be in Trinidad right now, they're coming in for the carnival, so they might mm -hmm. miss the concert. Is there going to be any sort of streaming, recording, or any post concert that we can look forward to? This is a point we still have mm. to discuss with mm. NAPA because we uh, are fully in the hands of uh, the management of the NAPA, so we will have a meeting very soon with them, and uh, it's really a point we have to discuss because mm. it will be uh, something I hope that so many people could enjoy, and uh, if uh, those who cannot come and attend to the concert can, uh, could have the possibility to go and streaming, it would it could be wonderful. Well, it certainly is going to continue the friendship between the two nations and, of course, bringing in that Trinbegonian flavor, the calypso, the jazz, the history that binds us together through music is a beautiful endeavor to celebrate an important occasion. Any parting thoughts, gentlemen? Well, we are looking forward to the to the concert on Monday, Monday 6.30, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and, and at Napa, so um, I, I hope you will all enjoy it. We will certainly enjoy it. Thank you.
And on that note, we say thank you very much for thank graciously you, joining Anka. us this morning, for continuing to share your friendship with us. And for those of you looking on, we invite you to celebrate the 61st anniversary of the signing of the Ulysses Treaty with our French and German ambassadors, His Excellency Dr. Christoph Ick and Dr. Rather, Mr. Didier Chambert, the ambassador of the French Republic to Trinidad and Tobago. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us again. And up next, we are talking unique, not different. So stay tuned to the Now Morning Show. We've got more. I got up in a fearful way as my mother began to pray. My sister started to clown. My wife ran down in her blue nightgown.